All right, welcome back to Live and Nine. You're probably wondering why I have a helmet on, but then again, you probably aren't because when you look over the city of Jackson and really Mississippi, they say you can see Yazoo from out here. Uh, we are here for the Over the Edge event. It's raising money for the children of Mississippi, a great uh, hospital, and it's just a great charity. And we have a guest to come in to talk about the Children's Hospital of Mississippi. So how do you guys choose what charity you guys are doing this for? So Friends of Children's Hospital was founded in 1989 with the sole purpose of supporting Children's of Mississippi. Yeah, and, and obviously, you know, what are the needs of the Children's Hospital and the Children's of Mississippi? Well, it's the only dedicated Children's Hospital in our state, and so the needs are, are great. We have um, 220,000 kids who visit the hospital every year. And we have clinics all over the state. Um, we see patients from all 82 counties. Uh, we have a brand new tower that um, has significantly increased the number of services and um, number of patients that we can treat. And so uh, events like this one, we've raised $1.5 million in the eight years that this event has been going on. Um, it has been able to support uh, the new Sanderson Tower uh, we last year we pledged four hundred thousand dollars toward the um, infusion suite of the the newly renovated cancer center there at Children's of Mississippi. Um, there are just so many different projects that this event supports. When you say 1.5 million, I don't think people really understand how much money that is in eight years and how hard that is to raise. But at the same time, you guys are doing something so cool. I mean, when you think about the creation of this, it's not what you see all the time. No, it isn't. Yeah, and, and what's it like for you? Have, have you have you gone down this before? I have. I went down last year. Okay. What's it like? What's the feeling when you go down? Uh, well, <laughs> I um, I didn't think that I would be scared. I'm not typically I'm, afraid. I'm I'm ter I'm ter I am terrified. And you're going down for the first time at noon. You'll be fine. Um, but I, I did not think that I would be scared until my heels actually touched the edge. And then he said, the guy, I think his name was Keith last year, he said, okay, um, you can go ahead and take a step backward off of the ledge. And I said, which ledge? <laughs> he said, the ledge. <laughs> yeah, like, like like there's two ledges. Right. No, that, that, that's hilarious. Uh, obviously, I, I asked Blair this, and, and we I just want to reiterate this because I think it's such an important point. This is not dangerous. This is very safe. They said they've been doing this for 20 years and nobody's gotten seriously injured. So just want you to reiterate to the people at home that it's uh, it may look dangerous, but it's not. No, it's, it's, it's not dangerous. Dangerous. Um, these guys are true professionals. Um, they are from Nova Scotia, Canada. They they were founded, like Blair said, about 20 years ago, and they do this event all over the country, um, many many times a year. And there's never been an injury. I think maybe a, a scraped knee on the side of the building. Er, er, yeah, I'll go ahead. No, well, they you'll see when you go over at noon, they check your ropes, recheck your ropes, recheck your ropes. Um, they are excellent trainers. They give you a whole lot of confidence before you ever go over because they, I mean, they are they're skilled professionals. This is what they do. It's, it's really, really fun to watch. What a neat job, right? You know, you <laughs> raise money for the uh, Children's of Mississippi. I do WJTV, and they help people go over the edge. All right, any advice for me as we're looking over uh, the edge right now? Um, my advice would be call your loved ones. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, you can't you can't do that to me. Come on, some real advice. No, real advice. I already did that. Um, so <laughs> my advice would be: this is not a view that you might get to see again in your lifetime. This particular view. So my advice would be: kind of go slow and um, look around as you're going down and take it in because I mean it's really neat. You're you're able to see. Uh, miles and miles and miles of Mississippi, things that not a lot of people get to see. So take in the view. Before we let you go, final information for people at home if they want to get involved, if they want to donate, if they want to even be a part of this event. So we would love for um, you to donate to our edgers. We have a campaign on our website. It's uh, friendsofch.org. And you'll go to the Over the Edge uh, campaign, and you can see who's going over the edge. You can donate to their fundraiser. You can read about Friends of Children's Hospital, and you can support this cause, which is incredibly impactful to every single child in Mississippi. All right. Thank you, Caitlin. And, thank you. and I'm going to wish you luck, wishing me luck, because I need all. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back. And again, check in at WJTV at noon as I'm going to rappel down this building.